<laughs> I'm sorry. I have a question for you. You said it was your doing earlier, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why would you leave your your kid's father? Do you understand the type of position that you put your kid in when you when you separate? Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you really understand, or are you just no, saying that? No, I do. I okay. do. What type I, of I wasn't raised with the dad, so like I know what I'm doing. Okay. So what type of position do you put your kid into when you separate like that? Um, I mean, her dad is still in her life. He's not like gone or anything. Like he's very much in her life, and like he's a good dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now y'all have to co-parent. He's not there all the time. Yeah, that's true. Why did you leave? What's the reason? If you don't mind, um, just giving us a brief synopsis. To be very honest with you, like he was very toxic with me and like very controlling and i like that you said that what was controlling about him like i don't know like he wouldn't like let me go out he wouldn't <laughs> let me hang out with friends <laughs> no, but, like, i'm sorry but i could hold it in. <laughs> okay, no. keep going i didn't mean to laugh keep going no i'm just saying like he was like very controlling like if i would be out with my family he always assumed i was doing something else mm -hmm. or like if I was out with friends, he always assumed I was cheating on him. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, always, like, some toxic behavior that I was, like, bro, it's been, like, three years and you're still on the same stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I would be willing to bet that somewhere along the relationship, you did something mm -hmm. or gave him a reason to doubt you. And he never recovered from it because <laughs> most men don't. And you're laughing, so I know that it's true. <laughs> but you won't sit I here mean, and admit it. But no, it, I, but I have but, no reason but to But you'll like come lie. here and you'll sit here and say he was controlling, he was toxic, he was this. <laughs> But I know because I've been in that type of situation where a woman will do something, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it is hard for a man to forgive a woman the way that a woman yeah, forgives true. a man is true. very hard mm -hmm. yeah, because I we we get hurt like to the soul, right? Like whenever a girl that I cared about did something to me, I could care about her to this day, but it still hurt me like to my soul because she was the one woman that I was willing to do things for that I wasn't able to like mm -hmm. I didn't want to do it for nobody else yeah I see so that. I don't like it when women come on here and say he was toxic he was insecure he didn't did he didn't do this he let me do this he but you did something to make him that way so what'd you do <laughs> every action comes with a reaction I think that, like we I don't know you dm'd his uh, best know. friend <laughs> You I, like his friends. I like how Basil starts like just throwing <laughs> shit out there. You DM'd his best friend. You no. fucked his dad. No. No, no. All jokes aside. <laughs> no, what, I didn't did threaten to do that, but no, I didn't. Oh. You threatened to do that. Oh my god. His what? dad Goodbye. though. That's <laughs> okay. crazy. No, I never would though. But okay, but you threatened to I do it. I did to get him mad. Okay. Now and, and, and here's another thing that women do. They will say that's shit in arguments. Shit. They will say shit to get you mad because a woman's most powerful weapon is her mouth, bro. Is, is her mm -hmm. tongue, right? Mm -hmm. Now, she could do good things with that tongue, or she could do bad things I with that think tongue. Some stuff. Yeah. 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 But, but the, the thing is that you don't understand, even oh. even in joking, like my grandmother used to say, within every joke, there's some truth. Yeah. So men don't want to hear that shit. Yeah. So I want to know what you did, though. What did you do for him to not be able to trust you? Um, I Keep it real. We're unfiltered. You did I what? Cheated on him. You cheated on him. Okay. Red flag. So, wait, who? <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Who'd you cheat on him with? Shame. The Listen, shame. The, the, the one thing we're not gonna do here is shame you. The chat's gonna shame you. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna shame you. Shout out to the chat. So, who man, the chat some hoes too. <laughs> the chat some, I, I can't, yo, I yo. can't let you talk about the chat like that, bro. She just, yeah, I, they I, fucking I, too. I, they I, hard. I, I, I just, I they did. They, they fucking I out a wet lock. I They're whores too. Cream. I can't let you talk about the chat like that. Yes. No, I can't. Yes. You can't. Uh, you know what? Get up and get the fuck out. You can't no. call the chat. You can't call the chat hoes. Yes. <laughs> okay, real quick. Okay, all jokes aside. So you cheated on him, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, why? It was like in the very beginning of the relationship, like I was with somebody and instead of leaving that person, I ended up getting with my baby daddy. Mm -hmm. And so I would like go between both of them, okay. kind of. So like, honestly, like from the beginning of the relationship, there was always like that doubt. Okay. So from then on, it was like. Okay. Now, re respectfully, why would you then not understand and comprehend that the whole entire relationship, the foundation was built on some shit? No, yeah. So then when he's asking you, you know, what are you doing at your family event? Who are you with? Who are your friends? He doesn't trust you. Yeah, I know. So I wouldn't call that toxic. I mean, you know, no, that's I something know, you both have to work through. But I just feel like eventually, like, bro, it gets to a point that it's like, okay, it's been three years now and it's like the same stuff. Like, mm -hmm. if you don't trust me, then like, what are we doing together? Like, Yeah. Yeah, but you should have ended it then right there and there too. Yeah. Because it's a two-way street. <laughs> Yeah. No, though, may, mainly if it's, she the one cheated. Look, if my nigga cheated on me and, and he, he tell me he cheated me. on me, I have no choice 
but to either suck that shit up or let it go or leave. Exactly. exactly. That's what I'm saying. Okay, well, if, so, so you're blaming a guy. He was not obligated to Hell yeah, either anything. you gonna suck that shit up and build the trust back or you gonna leave. Okay. If you know this something no, but that's I'm too saying- bad for you as a man that you know you can't get past and your ego won't let you get past okay. this, then go find you another home. Okay, that's a good point. No, you wanna say I'm something? saying not just off of that i'm saying like with her because she's like oh it's it was three years and it saying. took you time you know like if that was the case and you know he could have just broken up with me but it's like and again how, how often was he doing it like was he complaining about it because you guys had a kid so that here's the problem yeah. you then you get pregnant so if you're telling mm-hmm. me he's been doing this from the start that means year two you guys had a kid or two and a half and now you have a six month old Correct. so that's where it gets cloudy for me because right. it's like, and again, I'm not trying to shame you. I'm just saying, no, no, I know. if he has all this insecurity, you have the kid. Now you guys are attached for life. Yeah, yeah why the I fuck know. you keep dealing with it too? No, no, but wait, hold on, real quick. She did. She does bring up a good point though. I mm-hmm. think if your girl cheats on you, as a man, I think you should have enough self respect to walk away from that relationship. I told him that. Right. Either you yeah, suck but, it up, uh, but you don't. I you, or leave. Uh, listen, don't. and and if you did tell him that, that's that's very brave of you. That's cool. You should have. He should have listened. I told him plenty but, of times. But, here, like, but here's the thing. You have to understand. <laughs> and this is one thing that women don't understand sometimes. A lot of guys, right? And I, I'm one of them, right? We go through life and we go through shit too. Mm-hmm. But as men, we don't have any safety nets. Like I remember going through everything I went through, being homeless, sleeping at park benches and doing all that shit. No one came up to me. People used to walk by the park and see me sleeping on a bench. And no one came up to me to say, I'm going to help you out. Right mm-hmm. now, women have these safety nets. Men don't. So when you find a girl, right, and I'm not saying that's what he went through, but whatever. Like sometimes in life, people go through different things in the same ways, right? So whatever he was going through, he probably found you and said, "I really care about this girl. Like I care about this girl more than I care about any other girl." And so he was so emotionally invested into you that it was hard for him to just walk away. Yeah. And maybe he held on to that, hoping maybe this can get better. You know, and also, how old are you? 21? 21. So I imagine he's around the same age, right? Mm-hmm. Well, how old is he? 20. 20? He's younger than he's you. He's a year younger. Okay, cool. Ooh. So you see what I'm saying? Like, like most, most, most men don't really get to know what they're doing. I think it took me till I had my kids. Like, you know, when you're 25, to around that age is when you really start to look at yourself and say, yo, I'm fucking up here. Yeah. Right? Um, so, I, you know, you guys are both very young, but I think he should have had enough self-respect to walk away and I think if he had a good father figure in his life or maybe like an uncle or brothers they would have told him you need to walk they away they did like his family did his friends did but like he didn't care about that like at all like are you he, are you going out with your friends now and doing all the shit that you wanted to do yeah she's smiling yeah, <laughs> yeah. partying and she's smiling living my life yeah, my coochie beat life. my booty Wait, home brown <laughs> exactly <laughs> you, you, you have a six month old kid like why are you still doing oh, no, these activities the family, the family I mean, can watch them watch no the it's not that it's that we have right? like we split the baby so like I have her during the week and he has her during the weekend yo I'm starting to think whoa, the women whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I'm starting to think that women are doing this like let me have the kid split and then I'm gonna go and go out yeah, and have yeah, fun when yeah. he has the kid yeah. and then yeah. there's a lot of women 100%. doing this and then vice versa I mean when I was pregnant this man was living his life like living okay. his life so it's my turn i almost wish we could talk to him because i'm pretty yes, sure he man. he would you know because he's, <laughs> he, he's, he, <laughs> he's not here to defend himself you know what i mean and and just like i said earlier when you were sitting here calling him insecure and toxic and all this stuff like he's not here to defend himself. but i guarantee that you did something i guarantee you did because i, I mean we both had our fair share of like mm, fucking up you know yeah but I, I just think men overall love harder than women do I really do. Like, yeah. I, like, and I'm not saying in general, but I'm saying when, when you really get down to like a real relationship, because in general, like we're, we're the gonna, man always has to love the woman more than the woman has to love the man. We're going to meet girls and we don't fall in love with them. But mm-hmm. when we do fall in love with a girl, it's we're in there. Yeah. Right? It's, it's deep. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I always say women fall. Oh, I'm sorry. Men fall in love and women fall in business because you can quote unquote love me. Right. Mm-hmm. But if I go broke, if I lose all my money tomorrow, I have my the, the clock starts ticking for me. You're mm-hmm. gonna lose love for me within about a few months, if that. Not only that, if you look like you're you're you know scared or you look like you don't know what you're gonna do, I don't know what my next job. Like if she mm-hmm. sees you in a point of vulnerable vulnerability, mm-hmm. that's not only you losing your job, but it's also like damn, now he looks like he can't lead me anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's when you guys out. You're yeah. gone. Yeah, I would I would give any guy a piece of advice, man. Um, don't don't date. 
nah, nah. If you're not gonna get married to a woman, and I wouldn't get married in the courts, don't have a kid with no woman, bro. Don't have a kid with no woman. And then also, um, mm-hmm. be careful with these girls, bro. Because now he has you for 18 years. This guy has you for 18 years. More than that. And and, and based off how, the way you're carrying yourself right now, the Down way how you're like, yo, I'm still going out her party and I'm still enjoying mm-hmm. Your friends, are your friends helping you pay for the baby stuff? No. Are your friends helping you it's raise your their, kid? But it's not their Yeah, yeah, but so job. why so why 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 are you investing your time into doing shit with your friends? When you guys go out, when you and your friends go out, who's paying for the stuff? Who's paying for the drinks? Who's paying for the food? Whoever is like Whoever gets their own drink, everybody buys their own stuff. Like everybody buys promoters. their own okay. stuff. Promoters. Okay. Other guys. Mm. So, <laughs> other, yes. so, other, so other men are, are providing for you. You don't pay no. for it. No. Okay. You see, life is easy for see, women, that's bro. See, well, that's the insecurity. That's where the insecurity comes from. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Think, think about it like this, right? You had a baby. Mm-hmm. Your family helps you with the baby, right? No. No? So who's taking care of the baby right now? Him or his mother. Him and his, him or his mother. Mm-hmm. Okay, so his family helps you out with the baby. Yeah. Okay. And then you get to go out, right? Mm-hmm. And then you get to, uh, you know, go out to parties and clubs and do all this stuff at the, at on the, on someone else's <laughs> wallet, right? Mm-hmm. And you have no job. Mm-hmm. Like, like, do you see what I'm saying? Like, it may sound like I'm coming at you right now. No, but it what I'm, what I'm, I'm saying, saying is, why? are you investing your time wisely into the right things? Because um, your friends aren't going to be there that, that baby's entire life. I know that. I mean, they're, I'm not saying that, like, I spend time with my friends 24-7. Like, I do other things. But I'm saying, like, I literally get three days a week. What other things with. you do? I'm about to say, because you, you said, don't got no you job. You're unemployed. You, you don't have you a don't job. Do I'm with my daughter Monday through Friday, though. <coughs> okay. Or Monday through Thursday. How, if he don't care for you, who care? Oh, he, like, who, he who does, take though. care of you? Oh, who's, he does. Does he pay? To, who, are, is like, he on child like, support? Yeah, is he like, on child I'm support? Child, I don't have him on child support, but he does, like, provide. He has But the child support is not for you, So when he give you a certain amount of money a month, and that's how you pay the rent. No, no, no. But someone's paying for the baby's diapers, the baby's formula. Because how do you provide? That's the question. Okay, so. Hold on, listen. So he's he's providing for the baby. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, that's cool. So you, just, you provide I mean, for he, you. I mean, he's the one who decided to get me pregnant at twenty one. Like, no, 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 no. That's a two way street. <laughs> no, no. Well, First of all, that it definitely is. One mic at a time. One mic at a time. Why is it his fault that you guys got pregnant? You opened your legs to him. Yeah, but like he look, he told me that he couldn't even get me pregnant. And like, you like, and you're gonna sit there and you're gonna believe him? You yes, don't know how to, no, the, the woman's his mom, uh, his mom had reproduction told me the same system story works. About his dad, that his dad wasn't able to have kids for like twelve years. And you're gonna don't. believe a guy instead that of having him to go get though. tested? Yeah, no, like whatever a guy that tells sense. you. But I'm about to say, yeah, he done fin- he done trapped oh, and finished did, your ass. Yeah, but he will say that. Oh he will God, say that I hold on, hold on, hear me out real quick. What's your name? What's your name again? You don't get finessed, Marilyn. Marilyn, Marilyn, you, his mother told you. That his dad wasn't able to have kids, mm-hmm. and yet they have a kid together. No, they said that it took twelve years that for him 12. to like. So you have assumed, a kid. well, your mom took twelve years. We, let me we, take. We must take twelve no, years. Let me take twelve. Come on, let's just spit it, it out now. So, <laughs> okay. I, I think it's because they're both young. Yeah. To be honest, it's, it's, it's just, just a, it's, it's a level of, of naive, right? Yeah. 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 It's, like, it's, it's just a level of naive, and that's cool, right there. Okay, cool. Um, shout out to you, and, and one more thing before we move on. You're you're single mother now, Marilyn. Mm-hmm. You're a single mother now, and I have four sisters, okay, and I'm a father myself. Mm-hmm. Do you understand how hard it is for single mothers um, in the yeah, dating market? I was raised with a single mother. Okay. And is your mother still single to this day? Yes. Okay. Do you understand how hard it is for single mothers to eventually pair bond with a guy that really loves them because you've already put yourself behind an eight ball? You already have a kid? Yeah. You don't really have anything to offer. Yeah, but he's a way better, like man than what my dad was or like my sister's dad's were yeah but i'm not talking about him i'm talking about in general unless you fix things with your ex Mm -hmm. which it sounds like because of all the things you guys have gone through that it probably is very unlikely do you understand how hard it's gonna be for you to eventually get a person that's really gonna love you to the point where he'll accept you and your kid Mm -hmm. and especially right now you have nothing to offer and you may think you're young right now you may think that this doesn't matter but you're literally in your prime Ten yeah. years from now, right? Actually, nine years from now, you're gonna be trying to play catch up. You're gonna be, you're gonna mm-hmm. be out. You're gonna be looking at everybody that you want to be with is gonna want to be with the girls that are around your age, mm-hmm. and you're spending your valuable time partying, going to clubs. Mm-hmm. 
She don't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she like, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, she don't give a fuck. Uh, uh-huh. okay. As soon as this thing, podcast like, over, I'm going right the fuck she back. She don't back. care. She want to be outside. <laughs> and that's a shame, man, because you know who suffers? The kids suffered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was one of those kids that suffered. I didn't ask to come here. I don't. I don't think she's suffering though. Like, yeah, but she's a baby she now. A she doesn't. Life. She's not gonna remember anything. She has a good life though. No, it, it's it's fine. She can have a great she life. She could have had a better life. She's not gonna. Right now, she's not going to remember anything because she's six months. Mm -hmm. Six months to a year, maybe a year and a half. They're not going to remember any of that. But after the baby turns two and they see that mom is clubbing, dad is not there. He's only I only see him two times a week. It's gonna it's gonna build and it's kids gonna get older and see who the fuck the problem is. Yeah, and it's gonna create like a trauma, and then that that that's when you have kids nowadays like oh yeah i'm traumatized because my mom wasn't there and my dad wasn't there like, and it's just an ongoing, yeah it's an ongoing cycle that you create and i'm not saying you parent however you want to parent because ultimately yeah. at the end of the day that's your kid your life your decision yeah but you also have to not only think about yourself in the moment of oh let me this go party to, to hold on hold on give me one second i'm sorry visitation Okay, shout out to Jeremy uh, Tucker, uh, $20 super chat, man. Uh, it says, this girl's baby daddy needs to use this in court. Gentlemen, get custody. No, not visitation. Um, yeah, because technically if he was to use this in court, <laughs> Now he's trying to help him build a paper trail. <laughs> <laughs> no, like seriously, though, because, I mean, if a mother is supposed to be the safe haven of a baby, mm-hmm. you're, not, you're supposed to care for that baby no matter what you do. If it's if you're not trying to go out in the first year of your, your kid's life, you're trying to take care of that baby. Mm-hmm. Taking care of a baby is a lot of work. Th- that's yeah. why people usually say it takes a village because it's a lot of work to mm-hmm. take care of a baby. Yeah. So the fact that you're over here saying that, oh, I'm going to go out with my friends, I'm going to do this, this, and that, it really just shows how much you didn't care to have that baby unfortunately like you have no care for that baby you just simply no, had a baby like it's a fucking for, sunday fucking brunch daughter. oh i just <laughs> had a baby woohoo like had this is one. crazy and and the the is, let's go for it and yeah. the thing is you had control over that situation like you, did. you didn't and have still to have, have control because i know hoes fucking out anymore. of both the pants they like, don't got here. no kids okay okay guys real quick listen Shout out to the super chatters, man. You, uh, you know, you're still young, okay? But essentially, it's kind of like babies having babies. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're gonna learn a lot as you go. The one thing I will say is that Jeremy. Wait, hold up, hold up. Here we got another one. Shout out to Brooks, man. Uh, Brooks says I co-sign I men Damn, love hard, but as men, piece. I think we have to move with more intention in mate selection. One hundred percent. Shout out to Brooks, you, man. Brooks. Shout out to Brooks, good, man. Brother. That boy Brooks got big money. Yeah, yeah, yeah Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what? <laughs> You know what we should do, bro? It, at a certain threshold, like, we should have, like, specific things. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's not the same thing as, like, the, the same sound, yeah. But shout out to you, Brooks, man. Always Appreciate showing it, love. Brooks. Shout out to Jeremy as well, man. And I will agree with Jeremy. I think fathers should be able... First of all, in the courts, the women always have the advantage. Yep. They Especially always have the advantage, no matter what. Like, I, I'm a father, and I'm telling you right now, like, the, the courts have the advantage. 100%. Mm-hmm. So for your your baby father to even want to take custody from you, he has an uphill climb. You can get it just because. Mm-hmm. And in my honest opinion, I don't even necessarily think that you're the best option for that baby. You don't have a job. You're going out partying. Your friends seem to be your priority, right? Not and really. just based off of you spoke about your baby daddy, I can tell that you're one of those person that you don't take accountability because you call them toxic, manipulative. You said that, you know, you t- you left him because you cheated on him. I mean, you asked me why I left him. No, so. I, and I appreciate you being honest, but what I'm saying is I don't like when women come on here and say, he's this, he's this, he's this, but don't say why he's that way. And in general, I wouldn't even call him those names. I would just say, listen, man, he, you know, he. if I was a woman, I would actually be very empathetic. You cheated mm-hmm. on this man. Mm-hmm. Che- cheating on a man is the worst thing you could do. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I would say that and make him look stupid. No man wants. Well, that is the same thing. Then you got caught. Yourself. How I mean, the fuck he, you get caught? He's cheated as well. Like I said, we both had our fair share of like unfaithfulness. Okay. Was that, was, Women's supposed to be uh, sneaky. Look, be honest with me. How many times did you cheat on him? That one time in the beginning of the relationship. That one time, and never it, after that. I mean, it wasn't really cheating because technically I was cheating with my current boyfriend, uh, like with him. Okay. Because I was dating somebody else, and I was like, then I got into a relationship with you, him. You, Red you, flag. you have to understand that men don't think about it like that. Men think about I'm invested into this woman. Yeah. I don't care about the semantics of it. I just care about the fact that she did this to me. Mm-hmm. Right. 
if a guy's really invested into you like that. And I would say that a lot of times what women do is they fuck up a good relationship. Like if a guy's really invested into you because you're, you're you know, you're, you're having fun, you'll fuck around with a guy that's not invested into you. Yeah. And then you'll fuck up the relationship with a guy that really is invested into you. And women do this shit all the fucking time. I would say uh, my, my, you know, I, I doubt he's watching this or he'll ever watch it. But my opinion to, to guys in general is fight for your kids, bro. Yeah. Fight for your kids, man. I, mm -hmm. You know, I'm in a situation right now where I have to make that decision as well, man. And you have to fight. Hold on, let me finish. You have to fight for your kids, man. You know, I never met my father, and my mom gave me up when I was a little kid. So I was seven years old. My mom gave me up to the system. I was in group homes, shelters, youth facilities. I went to jail. I slept in parks. I slept underneath uh, bridges. So fight for your kids, man. Your kids need you. So, you know, I know it's... um. It's hard, bro. It's hard being a young adult and, and not even being able to take care of yourself sometimes. But don't give up on your kids, man. That's the one thing I would say. 